Okay, I'm ready for the next layer of mountains here that in my painting here, it's sort of a red oxide color with that warm yellow, maybe even some white to sort of tone it down a bit, especially for the, um, the ones that <clears throat> are farther away. Again, the main thing you're doing is trying to get that um, color match, even if you sort of alter the, the landscape itself, but just trying to get that color match where we have the lighter tints and tones in the back and then they become darker and darker, um, maybe monochromatic or maybe it starts to slightly um, change color into a, uh, in this case, almost into a complement, right? There's, these are almost uh, purple as they get closer and you'll see that they're yellowy orange all the way in the background. So it's almost a complement of the, um, the ones in the background. Um, so uh, at this stage, you'll see that the only thing I've really drawn out here um, is a very, very lightly in pencil, just, just drawn out where, the, where that river is gonna be, just so I remember that it's there. If I bring the mountains over a bit further, over a bit further here, and it ends up altering it, that's fine. Um, I just want to remember that the, the river is there. I don't want to paint into that area. So that's just reminding me to, to leave that area of the color that it already is because it has that nice translucent um, um, wash to it that looks like water. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix the color for the mountains. A little bit of, tone this down a bit for the ones further away. Again, it looks like brown, but it's actually a red oxide. It's called red oxide. Just a tiny bit of the little bit. Remember, if you want to bring in a spray bottle, they're about a dollar at the um, grocery store. You can probably find them at your grocery store. Just a small one like this is, is good. And that's getting pretty close. Let's see. Yeah, maybe a bit lighter. The great thing about the red oxide is because it's this neutral color, it, it really um, covers an area. So you won't have to worry about doing multiple layers with the red oxide. It really does um, become an opaque uh, layer just on the first layer. It's very opaque. And you'll see I'm just adding and going sort of back and forth, adding a little bit until I get to that color that I'm looking for. And that is pretty close, maybe a little bit more white. Matching it to the screen there, yeah, that's pretty close. Okay, I always like to have a couple of brushes on hand when I'm working, um, just in case I quickly need a, um, a change brush or quickly need a clean brush. I always have a, a paper towel or the rag close by. All right, so again, I'm just gonna start um, painting in these. This is a taller mountain here, one of the tallest in the painting. Comes down like this. Goes down. Again, I'm going a little bit further than I need to. sort of slopes over this way. And I've got my pencil lines there. I'm just making sure I leave that, sort of painting around that 
river part, that river area. Here is ones over here, kind of the same, almost the same height, a little bit shorter. Going this way, so join up. here, in between here. This is more of a flat top mountain. Kind of a flat top. And a few little sort of cliff areas over here. Extending it a bit further than it really needs to go. But you see, it very easily goes over those lighter colors in the background very easily. And again, I'm just extending that color a little bit further than it needs to go. Um, the next color will be able to go over that. I'm going to mix up my next two, um, next two mountain colors, which <clears throat> almost have like a purplish tint to it. It's that red oxide with probably just a tiny, tiny drop of a light blue or something to give it that almost a purplish tint to the ones that are coming toward us. And again, I have those pencil lines to remind me to not paint in that uh, area for the river. All right. So, um, as we continue, I'll, I'll go ahead and add in the next couple of layers. So then in the next step, um, you'll see that I'll be probably down to about here or so um, for the next video. And then we'll start to get into those silhouettes, the ones that are going to be all the way closest to us, so the trees and the lighthouse and that. 